Hi, this is John from PortableFreewareGames.com and I'm here to introduce a game on the website. So if you go to your browser, and you type in PortableFreewareGames.com I want you to choose the Games option, and then scroll down to the bottom of that page, choose page 8, and then scroll down that page until you get to the ninth option. This is it here, Counter Strike 1.6. You click on the wee image, and that'll take you to the download page, where you've got a big image from the game, a description for the game, and a download link for the game. Uh, the game is actually being stored on Mediafire.com, it's not getting stored on my website, it's too big, it's 372 megabytes. So I'm storing it on Mediafire, uh, and depending on what country you come from, when you click on this link, sometimes it'll take you to Mediafire to download the file, and other times it'll just start downloading the file. Let's see what happens when you click the link. Oh, just open me to download the file, click save file. Like I said, it's 372 megabytes, so it's going to take a wee while to download, a few minutes. Uh, but let's just skip to the next stage. And this is the file that you'll download, Counter-Strike1.6.exe. It's an exe file, it's an executable file, and like every game on PortableFreewareGames.com, it doesn't have to be installed to run. So let's double click this. And as you can see, it opens out in this nice menu here, where we've got the name of the website, presents, the name of the game, and we've got a continue button, let's hit the continue button. And you've got five options here. Uh, you've got Counter-Strike 1.6, that'll allow you to just play the game straight away. Counter-Strike ser Counter Server CLI, that's uh, the command line interface. I, I don't know who would use that or why they would use that, but it's there if you need it. Uh, Counter-Strike Server GUI, the general user interface. Yeah, that's if you want to set up your own server, uh, it's quite a handy wee option. Counter-Strike README, that's just a wee README document that I like to include in, in all my games. Uh, they've also got Half-Life, it's a, an entirely separate game. Uh, so anyway, let's play the game, let's play Counter-Strike 1.6. So this is the game just starting up, this is what you'll get as a welcome screen. You can choose to join a random server, choose new games, or find server, and you've got a few options down here. Uh, before I, I, I get started, I should really explain you what the game's all about. It's pretty simple, really. Uh, you've got two groups of people. You've got terrorists, and you've got counter-terrorist operatives. And depending on what side you're on, because you can go either way, you can be a terrorist if you want to be a terrorist, uh, the goal of the game is to kill the, all the enemy, uh, kill all the opposition. And that's about it, really. Uh, so let's get started. Find servers. There are 124. Uh, servers available right now. Uh, that's actually above average, so usually, usually about between 90 and 120 servers at any one time is available to, to join on. So let's just choose one of these. Here we go. Here we go. Terrorist win. Dead again.
I'll just turn the sound off uh, for a wee minute just so you can see the game and you can listen to my voice and you can make it what I'm saying you don't have to worry about the sound effects the uh, drowning out my voice so as you can see it's quite a, an addictive wee first player shooter uh, game like I say it's 14 years old uh, which is ancient in terms of the games but it's still very playable and still very addictive so I think I'll just leave it at that I uh, hope you download this game I hope you enjoy playing this game and I hope you subscribe. Uh, I should really say that this, this, this game uh, would work well on a flash drive. You can take it with you wherever you go, to work or to school or whatever. But you'll be able to work that out for yourself. So thanks again and thanks for watching.